Before we can provision storage, we need to create a new server using the DSM client. For hosts that the DSM client is already installed on, this is an automated process. When we click the Configure this host to access the storage center, this begins a login, which brings us to a wizard to automatically add this host into the storage center so that we can provision storage to it. First step of the wizard is verifying connectivity. We say next. We choose the storage center array that we want to create the host server object on and say next. It's going to gather some information about the host. It's going to check some registry settings to see if it's running the current best practices. And then we come to the verification screen. This is showing us the host information, the server object name that it's going to create. In this particular instance, it's S1406 is the host name. It shows all the paths in which we just say next. The server object creation was successful. It shows us a list of the best practices that it applied to the server. Again, there are over 15 settings in the host that the DSM client can automatically set to bring this up to the best practices. When we click finish, we are done creating the host and it's ready to have storage provision to it.